Hello and welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley. I'm a National Baby Lock Educator and today I wanted to take you into IQ on the SLARS 2 and show you just a few things that you can do with uh, your shapes key, your line property, and your fills. So if you've watched any of my videos you've seen that I do use IQ a lot. In fact I really don't even use software unless I'm trying to uh, switch from PES to DST or something like that. The palette software is compatible with BabyLock and it's absolutely wonderful. But what I want to show you today is what you can do in IQ without any software whatsoever. And uh, I do a lot of demoing on the Altair and my Solaris 2. And you can do what I show you today on your Solaris 2, your Solaris 1, Altair, Meridian, and Destinies. So let's get to work. Let me show you what we can do. I'm just gonna cover the screen so you don't get seasick. Okay. All right. So this is just a, a very quick, it looks a little bit complicated, but it's a very quick thing to make. So I'm going to, I just wanted you to see it complete before we actually create this. So I'm gonna go back and hit all clear and start over again. I'm gonna select the circle, go to size and size this down and say, okay. Now I'm gonna go up to line properties and hit the candle wicking. And these are in no particular order. I'm just, as I'm going along, I'm choosing different fills and different line properties throughout. So we're gonna go back into the shapes key. Let's see, let's select, let's go with, actually let's do the hexagon. And so that you can see the differences, I'm going to um, choose different colors. So size, back to size, let's bring that down. Hit OK. I'm going to head back up into, into the line properties. And this time I'm going to select the uh, chain stitch. Hit green. And now when I want to apply that line property, I'm going to click on the but on the this little bucket, paint bucket, and then as soon as I do that, I'm able to click on that line. And that applies the fill or the line property, excuse me. So now I want to do a different shape. And let's see. Actually, let's go back to the circle. No, you know what? Let's do the flower. And we'll head back up into our line properties. I'm gonna hit this. This gives us extra line properties. And let's do that little guy. And in, let's do blue this time. So I'm gonna go back into the paint bucket so I can click on that flower and it applies that those, the things that I selected. So now let's do the blanket stitch. Make that orange. And we've already got our paint bucket selected, so we can apply that. And then let's do, let's go back, let's go to these fills right here. So let's select this, kind of looks like a little frame. And in fact, you can do some pretty neat monogram stuff with this particular shape. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna bring the candle wicking back in because it is my favorite stitch. And back to the, actually let's do size. Back up here. And let's reselect. I'm gonna select a circle again. So with that circle, you can't really see the yellow or the orange, whatever that is that I picked there, and I can't really see it either. So I'm, there you go, okay. So I'm gonna size it up so that the two lines aren't touching. If these two lines were touching and I clicked on them, it would apply the, the uh, line properties to both. So as soon as you've got those lines that do not intersect, you can select, um, you can click on it and it will just be applied to that particular line. Okay, 
So let's hit next and see what we've done. Now, I haven't done any fills yet. So you can see this is actually, um, this overlaps this uh, little flower and then the little frame, they overlap. So whatever I click on, it will apply to both. So I just wanted you to see what the, what the shapes would look, or the line properties would look like. In fact, go into this little guy. This allows you to really view what it is you've done. So I, I'm happy with that, but I'm gonna add a couple fills. So I'm gonna go to fill properties right here, and I'm gonna hit this guy, which brings up our extra stitch, our extra fills. And if you have the Solaris 2 or Solaris upgraded twice, you will have all 42 of these fills. And really, they're a lot of fun to work with. I'm gonna choose this guy and pink. So I'm gonna hit, same as in the line properties, I'm gonna hit the fill bucket or the paint bucket and it's gonna apply that to the inside of the circle. So let's do one more fill. Let's do it in blue and select, let's do the roses. And something that you can see, we'll go back to green. And that paint bucket is already highlighted, so I'm just going to click right in here, and you can see that it is going to fill in all the areas that have a closed section. If there were any kind of uh, hole in this line, you would see it spill out all over the screen, and that's not what we're going for. Okay, so that's kind of fun. Actually, you know what? Let's now I want to show you this. So we've got this fill. I just clicked on on. Um, the center which brought up this fill but I don't really want it to be that large so I'm gonna hit percentage and I'm gonna shrink it down to its max which is 50% click OK and I don't have to in this screen I do not have to um, hit apply I don't have to do that with the paint bucket because this is kind of if you were to apply these things and not really like what you did, you have the ability to change that right in the screen. Now I can't fill this. I can't fill these because I'd have to. I'd have to actually go back into the creation portion of IQ. This allows me to change what I've done. Okay, so actually, let's do. I want to have a larger candle wicking stitch. So let's enlarge that all the way to 400% so you can see what happens with the candle wicking. It takes just a second and there you go. So within this you've got, a, this is the standard candle wicking size and that is bumped up to 400% so that um, you can see the differences. So let me bring that in closer for you. And you can see what it looks like. And if you don't like the colors, you don't like the um, fills, you can always go back and change those right in that same screen. Okay, so that's just a little bit of fun to, um, to show you and to hopefully encourage you to try your, try your IQ for those of you that are new to it and get you kind of working on your fills and your line properties and just show you how much fun it is. So I hope you guys are doing well, and if you are not a part of So Blessed Quilting Embroidery on Facebook, please join. We have a whole lot of fun. I do a live every week at th on Thursdays at 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, and there's a lot of um, content and discussion and questions come up, and the really nice thing is I can't come up with everything that everyone needs, but when people ask questions, a lot of times it's something that somebody else didn't know, but they didn't want to ask. So that's really the time where I can interact with you and um, help you through understanding your IQ better and using the machine to its fullest. So have a wonderful day. Oh, I did want to clarify. So blessed is S-E-W um, the, in the Facebook. So you don't try to put in S-O and then not be able to find it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.